Peter, so what are you doing? We've spent the last couple days going from me to we. So what are you doing? Do you have any plans on the website to figure out how all this personal effort is being combined to have a, a group effort? Yes, uh, we have some ideas, and, and part of the reason we're here, of course, literally here, uh, is we'd love to get some more ideas on how to get it. One of the things we are exploring, besides putting it up passively on our website, announcing it, trying to get op-eds and that type of idea out there to, to spread the word that personal actions, if we all do it, can make a big difference. Um, and I think, by the way, this is a brief aside, I think it's actually really exciting. I mean, it is part of, it is a way to build a community. And right now, I think as a country, we're sort of feeling completely, there's no community here. Uh, one of the, you know how you have those thermometers when they're fundraising for the hospital or whatever? We're trying to figure out, can we do that? And of course, if people like log into the NRDC website and said, I did this or that, you know, that moved the thermometer up. Now, maybe we can have regional thermometers, and, and actually, of course, we want to move the thermometer down, but leaving that aside, <laughs> um, trying to show that if people can register somehow, so they can feel they actually move the needle a little bit and see that as they are moving the needle, other people are doing the same thing. But that's, I'd love to talk about that. I want to suggest building on Jesse's question something that has a bit of a dog that didn't bark aspect to your printout. Uh, the, the last, the second to last full sentence on page one is all of the recommendations offered here are cost effective and ready to be adopted immediately. If you look at the list, they will all save consumers money. Yeah. And I would fear that people in Andy's profession will look at this and it'll be the same old story of personal carbon footprints and not talk about that dog that should be barking. Right. That's, that's a good point. I'll emphasize this is a, you know, we're, it's out there. If we can make it better, we'll revise it and make it better. So that's, it, one of the, the challenges, of course, is how much money will it save? Uh, and so to try to uh, save, to, how we can be accurate, but also not overly conservative, which is, I think, to something that the overall the environmental community has probably been, been overly conservative, and as a result, not progressive enough. Do you so want to we, respond to that, Andy? Well, just a really quick, just a note of clarification, or, or like an apple and, apples and oranges warning. Mm -hmm. this, this is nowhere remotely equivalent to a sock of a wedge. These are, those are a billion tons a year by 2050. This is, this is cumulative billion tons. No, this is, a, if we all do this, this is a billion tons a year. And if you take, if you keep having that many uh, I it said meal, meals less every so here's year, the problem. Oh, stay here. if you uh, continue your change diet, you will continue a lower carbon footprint. So Peter, in the front where it says, if we did all this stuff, the U.S. could avoid one billion tons of emissions in 2020. So that sounds like it takes 10 years to get there. We were, we were assuming, and I'll, I'll look to that, I think, that it would take 10 years to get 100% of the uptake uh, to get per there year by 20. Per, per year by 2020. Is by, that fair? Yeah. Uh, by the way, the other thing is you're robbing other wedges. Th that's, of course, the yeah. irony, but yes. In doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's, I prefer to think of it as synergy. <laughs> I love you know I'm I'm not against any of it, <laughs> but as a cynical communicator, no, no, you no, it, it, say, well, is, wait a minute, you're robbing other wedges, and right, is right. it is a billion tons a year, so it is I think equivalent to the Sokolo wedges, and we we sort of arbitrarily said if we're aiming for 100 percent, let's assume 10 percent more of the population does it every year by 2020. Frankly, this could be by 2011. Um, these measures don't take a lot of time, uh, unless I mean you can help us by spreading the word. Get it by 2011. Okay. 2014? Four years ago. Let's go for it. Four years from now. <laughs>